Thanks. I owe you. How will you choose a place to call home? How will you build it? Work together to defend it. From the terror, just outside the walls. When you get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? When the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart, will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. No one gets a second chance. No! How will you find the strength to carry on? In this world of the living and the dead, how will you survive? Just that, just. You know, it's just, uh, that can happen or not. It just depends on, on when you're playing the game. Interesting. And this time Deacon saw the ambush and he was able to avoid it. So he kind of comes up and around and behind them. So does weather impacts whether these creatures show up or not in daytime, nighttime, all that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So especially the Freakers, they come out, they're mostly nocturnal, but they will come out as the weather gets colder. They become stronger in the cold. Right. And so that will, you know, again, kind of change up the way the game plays. That's very, very, uh, I, I kind of love that you decided to do this as a demo to show two completely different iterations on the same exact mission in the game. Yes, exactly. So we wanted to have, uh, you know, this. the job is basically the same. Deacon hears that his buddy's in trouble, rides out to save his life. And, you know, as you can see here, this is a completely different experience from what we showed in the first demo. In the first one, Deacon gets clotheslined. Um, and it sounded very painful, by the way. Oh, that. that like, speaking of painful, um, okay, so <laughs> the combat yeah, in this game on. is fairly brutal. John, you want to talk about that a little well, bit? Well, we just wanted to make it as, you know, as realistic as possible. So, yeah, we're not holding back on that at all. Um, and, you know, and Sam's done most of his own stunt work for this. And I can tell you that when we're on the performance stage and we're capturing that stuff, we just try to make, keep it real, right? Right, right. Well, right. There, there was sort of a decision made at some point. What we we've, we've been work? I've been work, I've been on the project for what two or three years now? Yeah, I think three years. And uh, and so early on, I think there was a more what were we? It, uh, it was more Kurt Russell <laughs> and sort of a two-fisted thing, and and then it, it turned into hey, let's yeah. take this quite seriously. And what that required is a lot more taking this combat stuff um, and, and showing the horror of the violence that happens and, and, and it were this type of circumstance to take place. I mean, realism, weirdly enough, is the thing we keep going back to when it comes to the, not just the stunts, but also the performance style. I think, you know, it's very important that it doesn't seem like a bunch of actors, uh, you know, saying lines. It was yeah. all very incidental. And we, you know, we wanted the world to sort of reflect that as well. So yeah. you saw there that 
you know, Deacon broke into that emergency vehicle What's and this? found some supplies. So this is what we're calling our survival vision. Survival so you saw vision. that earlier when he was looking at Manny's bike on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just kind of a way of, of seeing tracks in the world and sort of imagining what might have happened. Mm -hmm. And here, I, I just wanted to point out that you're seeing in this part of the demo that there are freakers there. There weren't there before because yeah. it wasn't snowing. It was, you know, and it was getting lighter out. It wasn't getting darker like it is. And so, um, you know, it changes up the way you can play through the level. And what is this? What is <laughs> we call this the meat wall. The meat wall. Yeah, and it's not just there, you know, to you know make the guys who put them up to, to seem evil. They're there for a purpose because, again, freakers are living creatures. They eat. That's their primary. That's their primary thing. They want to eat. And so you hang these dead freakers up, uh, and it, you know, and anybody, any. Hey guys, this is Dan Hay. I'm the executive producer on Far Cry and the creative director on Far Cry Five. Today, we want to show you the world of Far Cry 5 and introduce you to the little town of Falls End, which has been overrun by a fanatic cult. In Far Cry 5, we want to give you an entire for hire system. Guns for hire, fangs for hire, and friends for hire. Meet Boomer and Grace. Boomer's your dog, perfect to run out into the world and tag enemies. And Grace, we got piggies. she's the quiet sniper. The cult at Eden's Gate has basically taken over all of Falls End, and you and your guns for hire have to take it back. We're going to send Grace, our sharpshooter, to the water tower to get ourselves some covering fire. See here are the last remnants of a resistance that tried to fight the cult. I'm in position. Out there in the bushes is Boomer. He's ready to go. And up above, Nick. Perfect death from above. Now, it's time to call on Grace to do what she does. Boom, boom, motherfuckers. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. We need more help. I love the way he walks. And I love the way he talks. Oh, and he walks that walk. And he talks that me. talk. You knocks me out. Oh. I off my feet. Looks like you need some help. Boom, 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 boom. Target bang, 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 bang. Quiet. Search this dump and get out of here ASAP. Dump? What's wrong with the dirt burger? Yeah, it's got everything. Garbage, rats, severe structural damage. Some people just can't appreciate fine dining. <sighs> Did you hear that? You got nothing to worry about. Trust me, I've got the heightened senses of a ninja. <laughs> I am so sorry. Hey, Hello. hey, it's okay. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh, thank you. We thought you were more of those... things. <gasps> Monsters are coming. Looks like we're staying put. Right. All right. You two stick with me. Yes, ma'am. Let's get to work.
Okay, let's head to the river evac. Aside from the part where we almost died, that was amazing. Hey, don't mention it. It's all in a night's work. All right, guys, who's up for pizza? Oh, yeah, pizza! Oh! My need is great. We need to clean this place up and get it running again. Don't worry. I won't let them close down this kitchen. Sit here in there. Thank you, Shadia. You should go back to your mother now. It might get dangerous. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. 